Um, my name is Osvaldo Garcia Tovar. I'm from San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, uh, near a place called San Luis Potosí. Uh, I live in Louisville, Kentucky, and I've been living here for about 14 years. I think to be an American, uh, from what I've learned and what I've experienced, it's, it's really a lot of hard work. Like you earn what you, what you want, and it's very satisfactory to like receive what it is that you worked for. I'm an undocumented, uh, an undocumented, undocumented uh, immigrant. Uh, I have DACA. I'm under the protection of deferred action by Obama, courtesy of I think 2012 was when it w went to uh, action. But like, uh, I moved here when I was four. Uh, my parents, my dad, uh, used to work uh, in the horses uh, here at Churchill Downs uh, before we moved. Uh, he used visas, work visas, to come over to work, like a lot of uh, other relatives I have in my family that uh, use visas currently or uh, are citizens at this point. But uh, he took my mother with him uh, with a visa to work with the horses for a year, and I was left with my grandmother to like live for a while. And then next thing I know, uh, they cross over illegally, and then they have me uh, cross over on a bus with some random kid's papers that was in Texas. So by myself, along with my younger sibling, and we stayed in the house for like five days until my parents picked me up. Um, uh, I only remember the bus, like, so it's just like well, one little scene of the bus and like looking down the stairs for like one houses I was in. But besides that, uh, I ended up growing up here. I don't really remember much from Mexico because like usually you don't, your memory doesn't work until you're like five. So from five onward, I only remember being here in the United States. Um, my parents were legal for like the first few months because they crossed over with visas while I crossed illegally. Um, but after that, uh, we kind of just like, with the little legalization they had for a few months, they worked really hard to get somewhere. Like we lived with our uncle for the first few months in like a tiny cramped apartment. And uh, after that, we managed to get our own apartment. And from there, we built our way up. My mother uh, really encouraged education within our family. So I worked my hardest to do well in school. Uh, I actually grew up very shy because I didn't know English. And I felt very alienated because a lot of kids spoke it better than I could. Uh, my father worked two jobs, horses and at a factory. So I would only really see him uh, when I got up to use the restroom like around 10 o'clock at night. So I didn't see him until like the weekends. And if I saw him, he was sleeping the whole day because he worked night in like middle shift. Um, because education was such a big thing, like I said, I tried my hardest, and then like, and because I couldn't really make friends, I kind of just stuck to books, and that's where I learned to speak English very well and read it and write it. So that's one of my bigger points. Um, I understand like differences in languages very well. It's like, so like, as we worked up, we got like a bigger apartment, uh, we got a nicer car, we at this point have a house where at like, a point where a regular family has, just like a house, a car, uh, and just like, we're decent. But we are like very scared of what's gonna happen because we worked so hard from living in an apartment with some other relatives to like having our own little family, like nicely situated. So it's very scary to know that I could be just sent back to a place I don't really even know. So basically, academically, uh, I've always had good grades. Uh, I was always the top of my class. Um, I, I compete, uh, like, I'm very competitive. If I, if I know uh, a lot, like, if I feel like I'm on par with a lot of the top kids, I get really competitive. Uh, I, used, I competed in high school for quick recall, and we were, my school, DOS, we were one of the lower tier high schools, like, uh, like, we weren't good at anything. My school we used to be like the joke school, uh, where like there was a lot of fights, a lot of violence in it. But when the new principal came in, a lot of that changed. By the time I graduated, uh, we weren't like in the uh, uh, lower 25th percentile. We were average. Uh, we did a lot better. And uh, the last two years of high school, I joined Kirk Recall, and we were representing our uh, uh, my school and like. 
against like level like high level schools like Manual, Mail, uh, Atherton, and Eastern. Like we were able to like get like half the score compared to a lot of other schools that weren't in their tier. So it was really good. It's like again for the GSP. Um, I kind of just went for it. I didn't really think of anything about it. I thought it was just a fun thing to do. At the time I had DACA, so I felt confident in myself. And next thing I know, I'm going to campus for five weeks. I meet a lot of new people. Uh, I get a lot more confidence in myself. And then next thing I know, I get a scholarship for this coming to U of L, along with my keys money. Um, uh, I go to the University of Louisville at Speak School of Engineering. I am majoring in computer science and engineering. And with this major, I plan to create a lot of different things. I don't know specifically what, but hopefully it's for the benefit of a lot of people. I chose it because it's a very broad field. So many things, like it's such a new field that you can really make anything out of it. You have like animators, which are computer engineers. You have like designers. You have people who design cameras. It's just like, you have people who just like make so much stuff. It's like, it's so open. It's like, you can make so much out of it because it's not real, so you can do whatever you want. But at the same time, you can make it real with computer engineering. I know that immigration reform is a really big subject, and it interwines with a lot of other things. Uh, so I would suggest that, if anything, if we can't get legal reform, at least like, like you did with childhood arrivals, like the DACA, do something for the parents that have uh, kids here, so that way families aren't separated. I think there's already something a process called DAPA, but it's currently on hold because of the court justice system, so I'm not sure. If anything, get something uh, like that or something a bit stronger. And in the meantime, while well, we get uh, immigration reform.